Hello, hello, and and welcome, welcome to the welcome to the LSE. Thanks everybody for coming. There are some new faces and some familiar faces, which I guess means that we're off to a good start because that's exactly what this is all supposed to to be about. Um, the inaugural gathering of the Independent Money Alliance, or IMA. So I just want you to take a moment to 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 look around, soak up the room. And when global capitalism has been brought to its very knees, the Bank of England is, a, is, a, is being run as a vegan co-op, <laughs> and sterling is just one of hundreds of ethically traded currencies. You can think back to this day, the 19th of July, 2017, and say, I was there. It's like... Um, it's like there's, there's that story of when the, when the Sex Pistols played the, the lower free trade hall in Manchester. There were only 25 people in the audience, but everyone went off and formed a band. <laughs> <laughs> so seeing as a lot of us are already involved in doing really great things, and I've got high hopes, right? <laughs> so um, many of you will be familiar with the Guild of Independent Currencies. And the road to today... Um, today's launch of the IMA started at the Guild Conference um, just over a year ago in Liverpool. And uh, for, for those of you who, who, who were there, I won't, I won't bore you by repeating too much, but at that meeting we, we were discussing at the end of, the, of a very good two days how a disparate group of people like ours, united by shared interests, might better co cooperate. How we could promote our, our wider movement better, how we might begin to communicate our, our collective values, both within the alternative finance world, for want of a better collective term, but also the wider public as well. And so by declaring an alliance today, we begin that process. By um, declaring an alliance, we want to, in the first instance, widen out our, our catchment area beyond what has previously been our natural constituency. So as a, an example of three members of our natural constituency, you'll recognise the, the Bristol Pound, the Brixton Pound and the Exeter Pound. There are, of course, other local currencies are available. Um, so don't read too much into these slides. They're not, uh, they're not technically accurate. Um, so we want to widen out beyond our natural constituency. Um, you know, we've got fairly obvious bedfellows, people that don't necessarily run sterling-based local currencies but might talk about the value of time to people, so it's great to, to see those initiatives um, starting up and, 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 and being here today as well. Um, things like tech innovation. Um, I don't know what the mood of the room is today about, about the blockchain and Bitcoin and, and, uh, and Bancor and Ether, so uh, apologies if, uh, if, if I've judged that wrong, but you get the picture. People that are, in, that are involved in innovation around the, the financial space and technology. Um, and the point really is that none of us are working in a vacuum. We're all, we're all um, approaching things slightly differently, um, and we might all have a, a sort of a different view on how things get solved, but ultimately we can all agree, I hope, that we want a better, fairer financial and economic system. And we don't have to look too far to see that what we're doing quickly overlaps with what other people are doing. The, the, the remit of others. So what happens if we're able to widen that conversation to involve them? You know, sort of people that maybe might be involved in, in food production or people that might be involved in, in, in politics or people that might be involved in campaigning. Um, you know, so if our work impacts on, and we certainly see it down in, down in Brixton, um, if our work impacts on local food and sustainability or employment prospects or the elderly, um, then we should be talking to those people too um, those people outside our immediate comfort zones to, to see how we can work positively together. Now, how far we take the conversation um, is going to be sort of totally up to us, of course, but we're all part of a, of a wider progressive movement of sorts that's calling for and working toward change. And what the IMA will do is bring all of these disparate people, and many more, not just these people on the slide, um, we'll, we'll bring them closer to our kind of core conversation um, around money. By widening out our constituency, our learnings are going to improve. Um, and so our, our learnings will improve. Yeah, and, and we'll, we'll also be, we'll, we'll be so much better placed to sort of work and campaign for change. That 
widening of our conversation is crucial because it, it binds together different attitudes, different perspectives, different skills, emotions and, and motivations. And it's that sort of collective nature that will get us m much more effectively to, to the place that we want to be. Now, again, for people that were in Liverpool, I make no apologies for, for bringing this slide up. Um, it's a rather wonderful diagram. It's not ours. It's from an organisation called the Common Cause Foundation. And it maps out how multifaceted our motivations are when it, when it comes to, to social issues and, and, and working towards change. If you're not familiar with Common Cause, check them out because it's, it's absolutely amazing. But this, this, this chart is a, is a sort of a 360 degree view, if you like, of, 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 the, of the values that we have, the multifaceted values we all hold. At, and we all hold them within us and, and deploy them at different times, di di sort of different times in our lives, different times, sometimes different times of the week. Um, and all too often in the, world of, in the world of money, in the world of local currency, we exist down in this sort of quarter down here, the quarter that is all about, all about power and security and reassurance. And that's a, a lot of the way that we tend to, um, we tend to communicate with other people and the way we try and, we, we, we try and get movement. Um, and so it would be things about sort of social order or security, a sense of belonging, social recognition. There's a, there's a wonderful space up here, which is all about universalism and benevolence and, and, and sort of working together for a, for a, for a better planet. There's a much more touchy feeling that is, that is very difficult for us to occupy when we're struggling as small organisations to, to, to have validity and be taken seriously, especially when you've got um, the, sort of the, the, the powers that be tell you that you're stupid and you shouldn't do it and, and it's absolutely pointless and, and, and all of those sort of power-related arguments that we have um, sort of a, a, against us. And that space up in the, in, the, in the top corner is where the real change is possible. It's where, where people are really motivated to act and where we can sort of sidestep that no alternative brigade. And by bringing a wider movement together, that's exactly what we're going to be able to do. We're going to be able to bring all our skills and our independence and our self-motivation and our, and our technical ability and our probity and, and then be much more universal in getting where we want to go. So that's really the, the kind of the, the, the thinking of, of, of where the IMA needs to, needs to start and where it needs to get to. Um, Central to what we're launching today is a nine-point manifesto. Um, it's, it's in the, the booklets, which I hope everyone will, will take a, a copy of. There's plenty of space to, to um, write uh, notes and rude comments and, and, and ir ir irreverent cartoons and things like that. So actually, they're very, very useful. Um, and if it's okay with everybody, I'm just going to run through those, those nine points. Um, it sets out what we hope to achieve, how we will behave, and provides the framework for the sort of the operation and development of the IMA. So the first point, um, we shall be the space in which our relationship with economics is reimagined. A point that's all about debate. It's about how we will foster wider discussion about money and economics that allows us to challenge the status quo. So it's very much about creating a, creating a space where we can all share our... our um, our ideas and argue and, 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 and have great debate around what we want to change in, in the world around us. And in the process of that, hopefully, one of the things that we will do is, is redefine transactional value. I've had several conversations like that just off the, off the, off the bat uh, today, this, this morning. You know, there are so many more meaningful transactional benefits that have nothing to do with financial profit. It, they're about well-being, they're about community, about sustainability. I mean, the list goes on, and, and we will be able to champion them all and provide that, that alternative motivation that's not simply about convenience or rewards or points or, or being able to travel on the underground or the, all the other kind of ways that we're expected to, to use money differently. The third point, very, very um, key, is our ability to give everybody the means to make a positive contribution. Um, and this and the, and, and the next one, are very, and the next point, are very much about, about pragmatism and, and empowerment. So what, what we do as a, as a wider movement is absolutely give people tools that, that can make a real difference. You know, sort of even spending money, especially spending money, something that everybody does, um, has the ability to, to, to make a real difference in the moment. And in the world, especially of local currencies, that's, that's very powerful. When you think that there's nothing that one can do as an individual, there absolutely is. You can, you, you know, it, uh, 
we all know that when you have bought your muffin with a Bristol pound, it is a much better tasting muffin than something bought with crappy old sterling. I mean, it's just, it's, it's, an, it's an unprovable fact that we all, that we all absolutely understand. Um, so we do make differences as individuals, and if we make differences as individuals, then bloody hell, what will we do when we all work together and do that? And, and there, there is absolute power in, in, in enabling people to make that positive contribution. Um, and then on a more organised level, we will make sure that we share what we learn with like minds around the world. Um, again, uh, harking back to, I mean, people that come from all over, all over the place today, um, and the, the, that meeting in Liverpool that I mentioned earlier, that had people, the, the people from, uh, from Nantes, from Switzerland, from Copenhagen, various stages, of, uh, various stages of development and experience, all sharing knowledge and all, uh, all, all working together. So that is absolutely what we will do. So we will build and we will maintain our network. We'll have conferences, we'll develop resources, just as the Guild has already done. We're going to continue that work um, and make sure that we're able to, to help each other. I mean, ultimately, I suppose what we will do is we will, we will give money back to the people. And this isn't really a kind of a redistributive point, although that is inevitably one of the, one of the side benefits that perhaps people will have more money that is, that is theirs. But it's, that, it's, a, it's, a, it, it's a point about power, and it's a point about people um, having a, a, a more uh, positive relationship with their money. At the moment, you get a tenner out of your pocket. And it's got, um, well, soon it's going to have a picture of, a, of, a, of an author who's been dead for 200 years and the world's most um, un unimaginably wealthy um, woman on the other side. So not the kind of stuff that actually sort of that resonates with probably many of us in the room and certainly not to, um, not to people who don't even know who Jane Austen or maybe even the Queen is. So it's about being able to, being able to, give, to, 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 to give people um, a sense of their relationship with money, a point about power. Um, and that, of course, then has real-life benefits as well. So I'm conscious that we've... And, uh, Nigel at the back there was, uh, was rather distressed that we had nine points um, rather than ten or five. Uh, <laughs> I like to think it makes a nice row of, of, of threes. Um, but, but we're very conscious of the fact that we, that we have a multifaceted sort of remit in, in, in the Alliance, um, and, and, and this is one. We need it to actually have pragmatic results on, on, the, on the streets on which we live. So we will make sure that what we do benefits our communities, that transforms our high streets, so that we're able to have conversations about, about um, economic transactions, but also about the wider communities that we, that we exist in. Um, and then we've got three points that finish off the manifesto that maybe are about the, maybe about the bigger picture. Um, we've already talked about a fairly big picture, but the first one is that we shall think global and act local. And that's a deliberate reclamation of the mantra of big banking that's been trotted out for, for years and years, a, a, a way of, of ensuring global domination for the, for the big banks. Um, and I think it's especially pertinent for us because um, the clock is ticking for the fat cats. And, and we are able to see that bigger picture precisely because we value the smaller picture. You know, we are local, certainly, but, but in that local nature we can drive global change. So we should be ambitious in, in what we hope to achieve. Um, and this is a personal favourite of mine, it's very controversial. We shall prove that money can buy you love. <laughs> you know, if in this room we're the people that stop money being a dirty word, if in this room we're the people that help make people understand that money can be used positively and it can be used ethically and it can be used in a way that improves most, you know, more, more people's lives than, than, than we, will, we will have done some pretty good work. And then finally, number nine, our final call to action, we shall be the counter-currency. So very much focused on being um, a campaigning organisation, so working together to, to try and change people's minds as well as, as well as work pragmatically. So I hope everybody will be able to, to uh, join in, a, in that campaigning force for good and be part of a resistance to the inertia and part of a positive, progressive movement. So, so nine points that scope out a, a, a fairly wide remit. Um, we will be lots of things to lots of people. Um, we'll be uh, some of these things, if the slide works, yeah. So we're going to be all sorts of things and the, it's in the multifaceted nature of what we are that I think the strength uh, of, of, our, of, of our alliance will really show through. I mean, ultimately, we will be um, a mix of inspiration and empowerment and, and campaigning zeal. And those are 
some of the words that we would like to think will be associated with the, with the alliance that I'm sure many more will, will come to play as we as we discuss more and work out what what, what people need from from the alliance um, but I just wanted to have a, a couple of slides on on the look as well because we've been sat with this um, with this enormous um, a around the room which hopefully people haven't haven't missed um, and central to what we're doing is um, what what we are referring to as the Alliance Trust Mark. When we were talking about um, the formation of the Alliance, it was, it was very much about how we could represent a shared sense of trust and, and values around the organisation. So this has been designed to work incredibly hard, designed to be a, a, a key identifier, if you like, of our, of our movement's values. Um, and so I just... A, a few slides. I want to imagine how this can tie our activity together. Um, perhaps it could be a kite mark. You see, we've got um, currency from Bristol and, and, and Brixton there. Um, a, a, a kite, a kite mark that could um, allow us to reflect our own unique local differences, but also demonstrate, you know, shared values and provide a link maybe between, say, the more established work of Bristol and then a new currency that's starting up in. None eaten. They can both be part of the alliance, and they can both they can both share each other's. They can both demonstrate that they share each other's values. And in the future, hopefully, we can spend none eaten pounds in Bristol and vice versa, and all that kind of stuff. And we might we might not have the the regulatory will there or anything like that yet. But in the in the meantime, we can we can we can wear this quite literally as a as, as a badge of pride, um, an indicator of our personally held values. I mean, in time, I hope that it will allow us to hold our own amidst the, the mainstream financial alternatives that we're already, you know, kind of blindly agreeing to, to, to use when people say you can't have alternative currencies. I mean, I came on the tube and I paid with my alternative oyster currency. Um, I, I bought some breadsticks earlier with my alternative currency on my phone. You know, we're doing this already and we're doing it um, unwittingly a lot of the time. We're already doing all this kind of stuff. So, so let's have a payment system that, that involves some ethics. Let's have a payment system that involves some, some responsibility. Quite what that system looks like yet. Yeah? We don't know, but that would be a good place. If we're in that place, then we'll have done some good work. Imagine going onto the high street and, you know, on the plethora of signs on the window, being able to identify a business that shares some of our values. Now, that's the kind of work that we can do once we widen out the conversation around, around, the, around the, the, our, 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 sort of our, our key areas of operation. So, together we will make the IMA a success. All of us here today, us and everyone we engage with, cajole, help, argue with, together we are greater than the sum of our parts. So let's stick together. And today is the, is the first step of that sticking together and the first step of that shared future. Um, what happens from here is absolutely up to us. So thanks for being part of this first step to some unimaginably wonderful future.